What's up, everybody? This is Aaron Pryor from Raiden Designs, back again. Picture in picture is gone, which means we are ready to get into Sketch and get down to business. Go ahead and open up Sketch. Today we're going to be talking about artboards and the layers panel. So I've got Sketch open here. If you come up here to the Insert menu, you've got the option down here to select Artboard. You'll notice that there's an A here on the right-hand side. That is for the keyboard shortcut. I'm going to go ahead and click this. And you'll notice that the inspector on the right-hand side, that's what the right-hand side is usually called, the inspector, you've got a number of different artboards. Now, artboards are basically the canvas size that you want to work with. So if you want to draw your artboard for an iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, or something totally different, maybe a website or an icon, you can select that from the list here. If you don't see what you want, you can click the plus sign down here at the bottom and enter something custom. So you assign a name, a width, a height, Click OK and it'll show up down here at the bottom. I've assigned one that was a, a Facebook cover page and it'll tell you the width and height that's associated with that. So as an example, I'm going to click an iPhone 6 and you'll see that with the artboard selected here, it's got the title up here on the upper left hand side. On the right hand side in the inspector, it shows me the width and height of my artboard. 375 pixels in width by 667 pixels in height. Over here on the left-hand side in the Layers panel, you'll see that I have iPhone 6 selected as uh, one of my layers. And if I go ahead and hit A on my keyboard for Artboard, that's the keyboard shortcut, I'll select another iPhone 6. It adds it over here, this time with the name iPhone 6 Copy. And in the left-hand side in the Layers panel, you'll see that now I have two items. If I hover over them, then it will uh, you know, highlight that with kind of a blue outline on the right hand side in the canvas area. You'll also notice that as I add things, they are going to be added to the topmost portion of the layers panel. Let's go ahead and delete this uh, second uh, iPhone 6 artboard. I'm going to select it, hit delete. All we need is this one for now. And we're going to talk a little bit about the layers panel and the stacking of items. So now the layers panel is going to show you all the items that are added to your artboard if you have your artboard selected. I'm going to go ahead and let's come up here, click insert. I'll go to shape, click triangle, and I'll draw out a triangle. Move that to the center. You also notice that within my artboard, as I drag shapes around, you see these red lines known as smart guides. And that's going to tell me that I'm centered if I move it left and right. It's going to kind of snap into place to help me a centered item, which is really cool and really helpful once you're trying to center things and get things organized and you know added looking good. Let's change the fill on this for this shape. So I have my shape selected. I'm going to click fill. I'll just change this to a red. Come back up here to insert. Go to shape. I'm going to click oval and I will draw out an oval. I'm going to hold down shift as I do it to get a proportional oval. Let's change this to a blue. Let's come back up again. I'm going to click Insert, Shape. This time I'm going to choose Rounded Rectangle. I'm just going to click and drag that over all of my items. And let's change the color of that to kind of an orange. Okay, so now I've got three shapes here. And over here in the Layers panel, as I hover over these items, you'll see in the canvas that I see an outline of the item that I'm kind of hovered over. And also the order that I drew these in kind of stacked up. So the last item that I drew was this rectangle. So it's the topmost layer and it's covering everything. You can think of it as uh, kind of a pie with uh, the topmost uh, crust, I guess you'd call it. The oval would be the filling and the triangle would be the bottom delicious crust on the bottom of your pie. So now if I wanted to move this triangle to the top portion so I could actually see it. I go ahead and click it here in my layers panel and then drag it to the top. And you'll see this blue line kind of shows me where it's going to drop it. So I drop that there and now I can actually see my triangle. I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that, send it back down to the bottom. Now let's say I wanted to select that bottommost layer and move it out from underneath and drag it out. I could actually click it here in the layers panel. I could come over here, hold down uh, command option, 
hold that down and then drag it out. So another kind of shortcut to grab layers and move them around. I'm going to hit Command Z. I'll put it back. Let's say I wanted to select the oval as the bottom. I could come over here. I could click it, do that same thing, and hold down Command Option and drag it out from underneath. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the layers panel again. You have the option here to uh, rename layers. So if you double click, it'll allow you to rename. And this is a great way to organize things and call them what they actually are. So let's say I had, I'm gonna hit R for rectangle on my keyboard. And I'm just gonna draw out a rectangle here at the top. Let's change the color to, let's just go kind of a reddish color. Let's say that's my nav bar. Now I could double click this. I could call it nav bar with a capital N. I could call it header. And if I wanted to create a group out of that, I'd click it, come up here to group and click group. So now I have a folder that is my header. And I'll go ahead and I'll take this uh, oval and I'm just going to hold down Alt and resize that. Let's zoom way in for a minute. and Let's change the color. Let's set this as, what do we want to do? Let's just do a black. And we're going to create an icon here. I'm going to hit R for rectangle. That's the keyboard shortcut. I'm just going to draw out a small rectangle. Let's change the fill color over here to white. So I'm going to click fill. I'm going to click and drag to the upper left. Got white selected. Now you can also use the smart guides for your shapes here. So as I move this, it's going to pop the smart guides in place for the oval and show me where the center is, which is really, really helpful. I'll hit Command D, and that's going to duplicate this rectangle. So now I have two in the layers panel over here. You'll see that I have my oval here. I've got the first rectangle that I drew out, and now I've got the second rectangle move over here you see the copy with the copy selected we're gonna create a quick little icon I'm just gonna come up here to the toolbar click rotate and I'm gonna rotate this around to 90 degrees click out of it and now I've got kind of a, an add icon so this is something you'd see in a lot of different applications where you want to add something new maybe add a picture or uh, add a photo to whatever or a posting something like that so on the layers panel these are all kind of just you know randomly stacked around you see that the order that they're stacked in is oval on bottom and I've got the two rectangles on top which is exactly what I want if I were to click one of these rectangles and drag it below the oval then I wouldn't see it anymore because it's at the it's underneath the oval so there is an order I'm gonna hit command Z put that back Let's go back to uh, talking about grouping. I'm going to click and drag, not a shape, but just to select all of the shapes here. Another way to do that would be to come over to the Layers panel. I'm going to click my oval, hold down Shift, and select all these. I'll come up here to Group. And now all of these are grouped into a folder, so I'm just going to rename this Add Icon. So I want this to be known as an icon. I don't want it to be a header. And actually, let's rename this previous one. Let's just call this header. So we've got header. I've got my add icon here. And we want this to be part of the header. So really quickly also, now that I've grouped this into uh, an icon, when I click and drag it, they all move together instead of independently. So if I tried to select that rectangle in the middle, it's not going to do that because they're all one. So it kind of protects, once you group, it protects the items that are in that grouping from uh, further editing or grabbing something and moving it around. Let's move this to the top. Let's say that this was our, our add icon. I'm going to hold down Alt and just kind of resize it. We'll put that here. But you'll notice that we have a problem. It's underneath that top header. So what we need to do here is come over here to our add icon, click and drag that above our header. And you'll see that now it's in the right location. If we zoom out, it's in the right location. Let's say I wanted to kind of group this. 
you probably want to stick it within your header folder. You can click it and just drag it and move it right over the top of that. You don't want to move it under. You don't want that black line to, or a blue line to be under. You actually want it within the folder. So I'll hold it over that, drop it in there. Now if I collapse that, it's part of the header folder. So everything that I'm adding to the header is now going to be within that folder if I click and drag it over the top. So a great way to stay organized. I still have the option to go in. I can go to my add icon. I can select this oval and move it around independently. So I still have that option to kind of mess around with it. I'll hit Command Z to put that back. But great way to stay organized. I highly encourage you to stay organized. And we will once we're working through the app screens that we're creating. But that was basically uh, artboards and layers. We'll call it uh, done for now and move on to the next one.